As I was driving my car the other day, I came across a radio station playing 80s music. I love the 80s. And I heard the song that was playing so many times over the years that I began to mouth the words, what's love got to do with it, got to do with it? I'll spare you my singing, but you probably recognize those lyrics and remember the music that goes with them too. As often happens when I hear a catchy song, the melody kept playing in my head all day long and I finally asked myself, what does love have to do with it? The answer didn't take long. What does love have to do with it? Everything. Think about it for a minute. Think of all the special people in your life, your spouse, family members, friends, perhaps a child or a grandchild. Love has everything to do with them. Now think of those who are elderly, alone, homeless, sick, poor, uneducated. Imagine what love could do for them. Hello, I'm Bishop David O'Connell, and every year at this time, I reach out to you, the faithful of the Diocese of Trenton, to ask for your help and support of our annual Catholic Appeal. I have chosen as our theme this year, you might have guessed it, what does love have to do with it? Everything. When the Gospel tells us God is love, and the Lord Jesus urges us to love one another as he loves us, our theme makes compelling sense. As we look around at today's many challenges, it is more than obvious that we need God's love more than ever as we journey together to use a goal of this year's diocesan synod. But I am always encouraged by the generous response of the faithful of our diocese who have shown that love is not just the lyric of some song or something that we say, but rather something that we do. We show our love for one another even and especially when it costs us something. You've heard the cliche, don't tell me that you love me, show me. Well, the annual appeal gives us that opportunity on behalf of many. Together we have come through two difficult years of a pandemic. We've seen love in action again and again and again during this time. And we, you and I, are still here, worshiping God, serving each other and those in need. That is a powerful testament to your love for God and his people. Whatever you do for the least of my sisters and brothers, you do for me, the Lord Jesus said. Your generosity to the annual appeal provides the resources necessary to help those sisters and brothers know and love God, evangelization, outreach, religious education and faith formation, supporting our long-serving retired priests, nurturing new vocations to the priesthood and religious life, building up all our ministries of service, especially to those who need them most, to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit the sick and imprisoned, comfort the grieving, promote respect for life and families. This is what love has to do with it. This is the work of the Lord, and we cannot do it without you. And so here I am, your bishop, once again asking that you prayerfully consider a gift to the 2022 Annual Catholic Appeal, a gift that will make a real difference in the lives of so many people in our diocese. Thank you for whatever you can do. And please know that I pray gratefully every single day that our loving God will protect you and keep you and those you love safe, will strengthen you and bring you his peace. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you always.